Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B-1 bomber. Plan to kind of change today. This is what I'm going to do. This is my nose section for this bomber. I'm going to go ahead and lay it up. I got a couple coats of wax on my mold. Then I took uh, my paper and I taped it off. So when I spray my primer on there, I don't want over, you know, to have to clean all my lip up. So that's the reason I put that masking tape on there. But I have uh, like three coats of wax on this, and then uh, two light coats of my part off on this piece. And uh, this one's ready to prime. And I found out when I was doing these in the cells that you don't want to really put this primer on there and let it set for a long time because it tends to lift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this one primed and uh, get it laid up. And then I'm going to come back and prime my second half. I won't do them at the same time. And uh, just worked out better on the nacelle. So I got the, my part all on this one. It's ready for my primer. And I just got this one here. This is my bottom half. I just got it all waxed up. And I'm going to spray some part all on there for you. Uh, remember them pieces I cut out a long time ago to make my uh, recessed hatches? This is for the, the door that comes out. And there's my gear door. And I just took them pieces and I double face taped them in uh, right where they go. And uh, they'll give me a p perfect molded gear door. But I got this one all waxed up. I got like three coats of wax on this. See how shiny that dude is? It's a shining hard. And uh, I'm going to spray a coat of part all on there. I had a couple people ask me what primer and stuff I was using. And you know, way back yonder, I showed you all, but that was a long time ago. This is my. Release agent. Let's start with my wax. This is just, I, I look for a straight Carnuba wax with no cleaner on it. And this kit is a Carnuba Car Wax, and it don't have no cleaners or nothing in it. And, uh, you know, it don't cost a lot, but it, it works pretty good. And uh, there's my mold release. It's just part all. And uh, there's a trick to spraying this. I'm going to go over this with you again. you got to use a lot of air pressure and a big wide pattern and you gotta go fast. So I'll, I'll go over that with you. This is my Transtar uh, urethane primer. I just get this at O'Reilly's. Uh, when I was doing my plug I got the yellow because when I'm doing a lot of body work I, I think that yellow just shows up better. Some people like the gray. I kinda like that yellow when I'm doing a lot of primer like on that plug. But since my fuselage is going to be gray I'm just using this gray primer and uh, it has a hardener that comes with it. But I just get that at O'Reilly's. It's a urethane acrylic primer, Transtar, uh, 6401 gray, and they got it in yellow. Just whatever you prefer, whatever you're doing. And uh, this is my paint gun here. This one I use for primer. I got this at Harbor Freight. This is a really nice gun. Didn't cost a whole lot of money either, but man, it sure sprays good. I just use that one for primer. And then I got one of these little touch-up guns uh, I use for my mold release. And uh, I just leave mold release in there. And uh, don't, you know, I don't switch from primer to uh, mold release. I just like, because this is water-based, it cleans up easy. And uh, that's what I use for that. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to spray this mold release on there. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a couple videos. I'm going to uh, get these all ready. And then when I'm ready to lay one up, I'm going to make another video. So you guys can watch. I'm going to go over all this. Okay. Tripod set up. That compressor is liable to kick on any minute. But yeah, it needs a lot of air pressure. And... Uh, you can see it come out, it just comes out of just a real fine mist. Because remember, this is wax. It's got three coats of wax on it. This is water-based. You know what happens with water on wax. It wants to fish on it. So if you get it on too heavy, that's what it's going to do. So you just got to go light. Now we want to leave that alone. 
let that dry just like that. Now what I'm going to do is uh, spray some primer on this piece. So y'all can watch here. I'm going to let that piece set up for a minute. I'll, uh, let me spray this primer. Did this paint gun from Harbor Freight? I got this paint stamp from Harbor Freight too for the gun. Kind of flips down and sits. Your gun sits flat on the table and it flips up and goes out of the way. That's a pretty slick little thing, wasn't it? Okay, we're gonna let that set up and we're gonna talk about. Uh, hold on, let me turn this compressor off. Now someone had said something about they can see their glass weave through their primer. You know, and uh, on my nacelles here, I really didn't have that problem. I've seen in a couple places where uh, it was a little bit, but I just a little bit of light block sand in a take care of most of that. I didn't have that problem. But I think uh, I left my primer really thick. I barely even thinned it. Uh, you know, so maybe you're getting too much shrinkage or you're not letting your primer set up long enough. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I like that. Transtor is working good for me and I just thin it just a little bit and leave it really thick. And uh, but the trick is, as soon as that stuff's dry, you lay your glass and your resin on it. Because if you let it set on, remember my nacelles, I let it set overnight, and in these deep corners, it would lift in a couple of places. So uh, I think you just got to be patient and do one piece at a time, and that worked out really good on the nacelles. So that's what I'm going to do here. But uh, let's check this over here. See, then when you miscoat that, when you put it on, you think, ain't no way that stuff's going to lay down. But you see just that one little light coat. And that stuff just laid down and got so flat. But uh, we're running out of time here on this video, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit up just a little bit longer. And I'm going to put one more, just the, the lightest mist coat I can possibly put on it. I'm really going to go fast. And uh, I'm going to let this set up for just a little bit. And uh, then I'm going to put a couple more coats on it so I get a little bit of a build up. And then uh, when I get all my glass cut and I'm ready to lay it up, I'm going to make another video. So we're going to go through this all step by step. And uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it. So anyway, until... Next time, we will see you in the shop.